You know those things you always see on Amazon and are unsure whether or not they're actually worth your money? Yeah, we're talking about janky laptop cooling pads. Are they even worth it? Do they yield significant results? Or are they just a load of horse manure? Hi, I'm Alex from Noon Improved, and it's time to find out. First, let's take a look at the cooling pad itself. This one is from Tree New Bee, and I bought it for around $20 on Amazon. It features four blue 120 millimeter fans. Once turned on, the fans light up with blue LEDs. There are two pegs that keep your laptop from sliding off, fairly well thought out if you ask me. Along with the Tree New B logo, the front is made out of a hard metal mesh. Along the perimeter is an industrial plastic design with a gaming aesthetic all around. Along the back of the device, there are two USB-A ports, one of which is used to provide power to the unit via a blue male-to-male -male cable that is also braided. There are two dials on the back which serve as fan speed controllers and each one controls two fans. The remaining USB-A port can be used as a power pass-through only. On the back of the unit, along with some more gaming designs and a warning mechanical injury sticker, there is a place to wrap up the cable for easy transport. This is a nice feature, especially for such an inexpensive product, but it creates distance between the fans which might make smaller laptops harder to cool. One feature that I'm glad was included is the two rubber feet on the lo much larger plastic feet. These allow cool air to get to the device and prevent sliding. So how does it perform? To find out, Zach and I ran three benchmarks, Cinebench, Unigen Heaven Valley, and Geekbench on two devices, my mid-2013 13-inch MacBook Air and Zach's early 2015 Dell XPS 13. To be honest, the results weren't exactly what we were expecting, but my computer averaged a score of 222 in Cinebench without cooling and 221.6 with. These results are within margin of error, so the cooling pad was likely ineffective in this test. Do be aware that we did let the temps stabilize between the tests. And the same benchmark, Zach's computer averaged 248 without cooling and 253 with. Now we start to see some kind of improvement. In the next benchmark, Unigen Heaven Valley, my laptop scored 188 and an average FPS of 7.5 without the cooling pad and 193 and an average FPS of 7.6 with. This test's extended length may have led to the cooling pad having more of a significant impact on the scores. Zach's laptop scored 172 with an average FPS of 6.8 without the cooling and 178 with an average FPS of 7.1 with. Same logic applies. For the last test, Geekbench, my laptop scored 2,830 single core and 5,140 multi core without cooling and 2,780 single core and 5,113 multi core width. The cooling didn't have much effect here. The same trend appeared with Zach's computer, scoring 3,129 single core and 5,688 multi core without cooling and 3,087 single core and 5,694 multi-core with cooling. By the end, we hadn't seen much of a performance improvement while using the cooling pad. However, if you plan on using your laptop for many years, this is a good start towards making it last longer. Personally, I use the cooling pad for my desk setup and I have noticed that navigating through my workflow is noticeably smoother. It also really does depend on what laptop you have as some feature different cooling layouts. For example, if you have an Ultrabook, it's less likely to have a cooling layout that would benefit from this device since hot air is usually exhausted from the back instead of from the bottom. However, if you have a gaming laptop, you might see a bigger performance boost due to the fans being on the bottom of your laptop. For Zach and me, using a cooling pad may help longevity and I intend to keep it as part of my desk setup, but your results may vary. So thanks for watching. You can check us out on the web here or on YouTube here. You can also check us out on Twitter here, here, and here. As always, I've been Alex from New and Improved. See you in the next review.